Hey guys, this vlog is sponsored by Harris Market, so if you're interested, please continue to watch. always we're gonna start with the packaging there was not a box but there was a bag that you can put your wig into when you're done with it and there's also a satin bag is here as well they do offer wholesale and drop shipping so check that out inside the bag was wig caps eyelashes a bonnet and the hair itself wrapped in plastic this is 28 inches of straight hair this is the hair right here it's natural color it is 28 gorgeous inches like Shook, I already want this wig. Y'all know she's bald, so is hers. But let me just show you guys the inside. That's the laces pre-plucked. There was not any baby hair, and the knots are not bleached, and that's the lace right there. So I'm going to have to put some powder on there because that lace color is a little different, right? So there are three combs, an adjustable strap, and a comb at the back. And this is the length right here. Now, some of the length of the hair was shorter than the rest. So, that was the only thing that, like, puzzled me. But we're going to make it work. So, I'm going to start by putting my face powder, which is the MAC um, NC43 in the inside. And tint this lace just a little bit. I'm going to show you the difference um, where it's not tinted, how it will look against my skin. And when I use this powder, how it will look. Hopefully, you guys can see the difference. That's without the powder. And this right here is with the powder. It just tints it a little bit more and make it um, blend. So this is one of those wigs that's like free. You got to do parting and everything. And y'all know I'm a simplest, um, if that's a word. But I believe in simplicity when it comes to these wigs. And so I call Suge in to do it because she's a little bit more advanced. And so that's what she's doing. So she's just installing the wig right now. I will talk you through what she's doing. She's just combing everything out the way. So she can see how to adhere. We went back and forth. Side part, middle part. Should actually wanted to pluck this a little bit more. But what we decided to do was the comb over method. There's not going to be a part in it at all. But feel, feel, feel free to make a part if you want. Alright. So she's just cutting the excess ear tabs off right here. And basically everything else is like self-explanatory. You know how we do it it's the same steps over and over you just plug baby hair flat iron and all of that so i'm just gonna let you watch her work So guys, she's putting the finishing touches on the wig right here. I am going to tie it up and go do my makeup and voila. Like I said, just a simple comb over method. Don't forget to check out Harris Market. I will have the direct link to this wig below along with a discount code if I have one. I will link their website and all their social media handles. They do have split pay options and etc. If you don't want to pay for your wig all up front. Um, I hope you guys like this wig. The hair is gorgeous. Like the actual hair is absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous. And thank you, Harris Market, for sponsoring this video. Hey, y'all, it's your lit auntie. You know, the one that looked just kind of young for her age. But I'm lit. <laughs> okay, so yeah, let's start this vlog off. First of all, subscribe, hit the bell if you haven't. 
because some of y'all haven't been getting y'all notifications. Excuse the noise. I'm at work and they're working on something. Um, it's yeah. I have to do some orders. I haven't been recording me working, and you guys love to see me work. So I'm gonna do a video dedicated on filling orders, and I'm gonna take some questions on Instagram. Well, they're gonna be answered in this video. Child, child, child. So um. Yeah, I have a lot of work I need to do for my business. Like, as far as inventory, I do need to do inventory. But, thank you so much for bearing with me, guys. You guys know that I lost my son and my life has been rocked. So, honestly, I did put Come To Me by Nikki on a back burner. Because, wouldn't you? <laughs> I mean, that's the downfall of having a small business. Like have family and stuff that work for me but they're family so all of us are shook so you know coming up here to the warehouse be the least of our worries so I need to do inventory here to see what I have and restock I have a lot of new pieces that I haven't even got to show you guys um, one is called the dart and it's right here in my face it's like a bucket full of them right here um, it's kind of like my black velvet it's just constrained yeah i'm so sorry it's just a little bit more hold on the stomach um i do have a leanne bra that's just like the nikki bra you guys love that i need to get back in stock because you really love that it just has a straight back instead of a razor back and what else is new there's a new style of the sugar body suit that's like a faja so check it out i will leave a code below for my website let me fill these orders and get up out of here get to the post office look y'all i've been losing weight again my apple watch look how big it is so yeah i'm so irritated because i got some supplies at the house that i should have brought up here like some poly millers and stuff rushing out and i don't even know what the rush is it's been a long weird morning I have a charge back on my bank from something and I'm like, what the heck is this even from? Well, you spend money like me, y'all better pay attention to y'all bank accounts. Um, should call from school in a frantic meeting. A change of pants. Sorry y'all can't see me. A change of pants. Why when I'm the goat of period pouches and stuff, but she got caught slipping kind of stuff i'm gonna just keep it pushing and refocus today because i don't even know what's going on uh can i get a medium cheese tot and a medium um power a drink yeah i'm so sorry this steering wheel been in the way but did y'all hear some potato shortage y'all remember when i got sick uh-uh Y'all remember when I got sick and all I could eat was potatoes? What would I do right now? Huh? What? Can't find them. Even my place, Fat Girls Barbecue, can't sell potatoes this weekend because it's a potato shortage. Stuff's definitely getting weird around here. All right, guys. So I'm in front of. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> So, one of you guys messaged me about two weeks ago. Now, probably more than that, y'all. I'll be having a lot going on. And you said that the new scent from Bath & Body Works copy is the same as Marc Jacobs Perfect. Now, 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 now. I'm going to go out here and smell it for myself because y'all know I love Marc Jacobs Perfect. Actually, I have on a scent today made by Joe Malone. Dang, what's the name of the scent? Okay, I got a doc. Oh, this ain't the same vlog. Okay, well, yeah. By this time, my luxury haul will be up. And I got a scent from Dossier that's a dupe for Joe Malone's. It's that one. It kind of smelled like Marc Jacobs Perfect to me. So we just about to go in here and see y'all. I'm ashing and everything, but I'm coming to get some lotion. It's a go, guys. It do smell just like it. Thank you. Let's see who it was. Oh, I cropped it. Thank you, hon. You know who you are. 
So guess what I did? Came all the way back home and got my coupons. And y'all finna give me the difference. I'm real, real close. And I should have just came home and got the coupons first. But I wanted to go in there and see if it even smelled like they said. I should have just waited in general. But I'm about to go get my money back. Because I got a 20% off coupon. All right, guys. So it was very much work coming back. It saved me $12. That's a whole product. So... Also, I did manage to scratch my rim again. I think I actually did both of them. God dang. I'm going to just go get me some chrome wheels. I can't deal with this. But I did get some stuff from Amazon, so I'll show y'all when I get home. So let me show y'all what I did end up getting. I got the spray, which I never, ever get their spray. It just doesn't do it for me, but it was. I got it free. I should have just got double or one of these free. I don't be thinking. I got the uh, hand and body cream or the body cream. I don't know them to my hand and body. That's the body cream. I did get the, I love their creamy body scrub. Oh my gosh. So I got that. I should just got two of those, one for free. And then I got the shower gel. I don't like the lotion, bath and body work lotion. And then I couldn't get, they didn't have that in one of these hand creams. So I got this scent uh into the night and i don't like it i don't think but i'm gonna just put it in my purse okay so i do want mm -mm. let me y'all in the kitchen so this dress is gorgeous hold on like can i put it on right it's gorgeous it came from high quality fashion boutique and i absolutely love it so here's the tea. I'm gonna show you guys this dress with just regular panties on. And I look a hot mess. Let the light adjust, so this is what I look like. A hot mess, right? No, you know. All right guys, so this is the darting. And this is what I say, this is a large. It's just like the black velvet, except it has a little bit more tummy control. And it unsnaps in the crotch. The black velvet does not unsnap in the crotch. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, the next one I'm going to show you is my new Sugar. It is, um, I'm going to just put the same side by side up and show y'all right now. Yeah, it does have straps, but I have them tucked. Okay. Okay. I just did this this morning. This have two rounds. Those nachos. Yeah, I ate some nachos today. Two rounds. <laughs> so, here is the Leanne bra. Full back instead of razor back like my other bra. This is a large. I'm a 36H. Great stretch. You guys remember when I tried my sports bra on from a small all the way up to a 2X. I can fit all of them. Just depending on how tight you want it to hold you, is you go down. So I'm a 40, 36H. I'm used to saying 40H. And I'm in a large. Hope y'all can't see all that. I'm in a large. So do what you want with that information. My shaper is not meant to size down. Get your size. If you were a large in clothes, get a large. If you were an extra large, get an extra large because you will go down the size and be mad. So yeah. I'm proud of my babies. All right, guys. So I promise you guys I will show you this. Okay. It's quick, easy. It's a pen. You like foul it down a little bit. Like buff it. Then right under with the pen or whatever and let it dry. It's universal. This is the um, satin one because my rims aren't quite matte, but they're not quite shiny either. So, yeah. It came from Amazon. I definitely subpoena like this. So I definitely link it below. So, tomorrow I will be showing you guys this. It's late. This she and stuff. Here's the shoes, girl. I can show y'all the shoes. They purple. They don't look purple right there. That's odd. They're purple. 
They look like the Jimmy Choo's. Lilac, lavender. So here's the shoes, honey. Hold on, hold on. That's the true color. These came from Shein. Love them. I'm going to put them straight up in my beauty room. So, yeah, I came to my favorite outdoor mall to give me some yogurt. Suge actually got out to get it. It's one of them lazy days. I'm, I feel so damn sleepy and tired, but let me tell y'all what my butt did yesterday. Ate some freaking Rotel dip. No, I don't need all that dang on cheese. And now I'm about to cry because I feel so drugged and lazy and tired. But my baby looks so cute today. That was the point of me saying this. So when she come out, I'm going to show y'all her little outfit. And this right here is where I took my pictures that one time with the chest board. And them pictures came out too good. Too good, baby. Too good. Everybody thought it was fake and like I placed myself right there for the caption. Nope, they're right there. And here's the checkers. Y'all, why yes? I'm in my truck today because I don't know what's I ain't showing me. Well, ain't that bad? I'm in my truck today because yesterday I was in my car and my mind be just out of it still. That's that post-COVID brain fog. I gotta do something about that and literally drove into my garage. This how freaking close I was. So I'm like, let me just get in my truck because I would turn my truck up in my car and I gotta drive. I gotta go get my baby and etc. So here she come. Look at her. And who told her to get some yogurt? Oh. Bro, hold on, fit check, fit check. Oh, oh, show the glasses. So, what they to have? Um, I didn't see your text till after I made it. And I gave you peanuts. Okay, that's fine. In the car. So why you tell me to text you if you want to go look at it? Because you said it. You said no. Then you said your order in the car. No, my. What? Oh, if I break out. You. Is yeah. So I got a question for y'all. Y'all know that I lay down in between every activity until I get my mojo back. All I did was went, got yogurt, and got her from school. But y'all, please stop telling me stuff like I was worried. Oh, I thought you stopped YouTube. Da -da 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 -da. Just because a vlog didn't go up. I'm very active on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, Snapchat. And the fact that I posted two videos, y'all just didn't watch them because they was hair reviews. So y'all in the comments, like I just cold turkeyed everything and ain't nobody heard from me when it's just like, like, I keep telling people, they're like, oh my gosh, I was so worried you haven't posted in forever. And I was like, two hair videos went live last week. Like, I understand people don't watch them, but don't say I'm not active just because it's a video you didn't watch. <laughs> I get it, y'all love the vlogs, but I got bills. And I'm behind on YouTube, so I had to pump those hair reviews out. Um... Because technically, it's like I hadn't worked in six weeks. You get what I'm saying? But so, I mean, worked YouTube-wise. Gotta go. Listen here, y'all. I got some work to do. So, y'all be saying y'all miss my makeup tutorials. So, I said, why not just kill two and one? And, um, why not just kill two and one and do makeup tutorials and answer questions at the same time? I want to touch on something, babe first before I get started and our obligation to these companies and how we get treated now I want to bring light to this situation because I really feel like a lot of you guys in the comments are very um, insightful and something occurred between somebody who I don't really know but I really really like um, if you guys know Fumi Monet she's the black content creator she went viral on TikTok she's like um, she called herself her our fragrance auntie um, I have two bottles of her perfume. I have one bottle and I love it so much. I got a backup bottle that's brand new because it was limited edition. So I didn't want it to run out and then couldn't get it again. So she was on Instagram. I'm going to make this real short and then I'm going to answer questions that you guys asked me. She was on Instagram and she was saying how a company was harassing her over three samples that they sent her now if you don't know what a sample of perfume is it's not anything like this 
a sample the samples i gave her looked very much sorry guys something like this so i don't so it was a pr um, I can't remember if she asked to sample it or they asked her. And I want everybody to know that there is a big difference between PR sponsorships and collaborations. So this is Belief um, True Cream Moisturizer. So basically PR, these people send up, we've been, content creators have been going back and forth with subscribers and stuff about this for years because PR, they just send the stuff to us. Sometimes we don't even know how they get our address. Even if we did give them our address, that's exactly what it is. PR in exchange for promotion. You're not obligated. You're not contracted because you might not like the stuff. You might get a whole bunch of stuff and just can't show all that stuff sometime. And like I said, all the time we don't ask for it. Do we appreciate it? Yes. But do we ask for it? No. So the point of me saying all that was this was a PR. They sent her three samples and they got online and they told her that she kept their stuff. She didn't show it their small business, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Keep in mind, this is a company owned by a white man. So they said that was $150 worth of inventory, yeah, yeah, yeah. Which we all know by looking at what I just showed y'all, no matter how expensive the perfume is, that was not $150 worth of inventory. So the whole point was that she never showed it, basically, because she's not obligated to because it was PR. So instead of them leaving it at that, they got mad at her. And they sent like a whole bunch of their little um, trolls or whatever to her page. And this turned into them like insulting how she looked, insulting to my she thinks she all dead, insulting her race, which is an insult in itself because this is coming from a white man. This is coming from a company for one. This is coming from a white man and this is coming from um, a man, like a man. What man has time for this? So anyway that ain't even where it ended y'all what what pissed me off and where i need you guys help which she probably got it handled by now is that man actually showed himself at the airport <laughs> i have to laugh this out because better her than me at the airport with a bag saying he was coming to the united states milk primer everything i use will be below it's the same thing i'm gonna do the no makeup makeup i mean no 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 the no foundation at the freaking airport right <laughs> with a suitcase like i got your address that's where you draw the line first of all sis get a p.o box asap i'm quite sure she is now first thing as a content creator get your p.o box second of all let me tell you what i would have told him come on you ain't gonna make it back because let me tell you what you don't do is threaten me especially i'm no three funky samples okay and that just, and you know, it's just like, you got to be careful nowadays. Influencers, please get a P.O. box. When people know where you stay, get cameras, get protection. Cameras all the way around your house and multiple forms of protection. You hear me? If somebody want to play stupid, we can play dumb. That's how you got to look at it. But what are her options? What are her options? Because... Like that kind of, that brand me so fish grease hot. You that mad over a sample, bro? This is my Kevin Aquan pencil. Over a sample? Like, wow. Some samples. Some samples. Not, I, some samples. So anyway, let's get straight into the questions. I asked these questions on, what's the set? Uh, I asked them on, I don't even know, Instagram. So if you ever want to know where I get these questions from, they come from Instagram, all right? So question number one is, oh, I would need my phone. We just go roll straight into it. Question number one. I can't even see. When I put my contacts on, sometimes everything just come together. What should you do to start business credit? Okay, that's very easy. First of all, what you do is start the business, get an LLC or sole proprietorship established. LLC is a little bit more expensive. You can pay on it on um, LegalZoom. Um, sole proprietorship, you just go to your city records building and claim the name. CoverGirl Concealer. I'm going to try to scrape this up out of her. I got to, let me try something new. I hope it work out. This is an Urban Decay concealer they sent me in the color is, can't see, 60WR. I don't know. I think it's these contacts I be putting on. 
Um, so after you do that, you go onto the IRS website and register your business for a EIN number. So what that EIN number is going to act as is your social security number for your business. So after you get that, um, that's how you start establishing your business credit. Now, this is one of the easiest ways I feel to do it. You go ahead and get a business address that's not your home address. Um, you register for a D. It's called a DNS number. Hold on. Yeah. After you register, I have notes on my phone. After you get an EIN, register your business with DUN and Backstreet for a DUNS number. Okay. This creates your business credit profile. That's like the easiest way to do it. Or you can just get that EIN number and start applying for business credit cards and build your credit like that. It's just like personal credit. You got to start somewhere. You, you, it's like having a brand new social security number. And after you get it established, you can get bigger business loans. You can get cars. You can get buildings and everything in your name. Some people even get Airbnbs and stuff in their business name. But that's, that's basically the steps right there. So I hope I didn't zoom through that too much do not pay these people 20 30 do not pay these people to start your businesses and stuff it's so easy that's all you have to do is get that EIN number and start working on your business credit so this is the Laura Mercier powder and honey I'm just gonna set this while I go on to the next question if I don't answer a question um, I'm giving you general information so just research from here on out everything is online Google YouTube so um, the next question is, how do you stay motivated when business slows down or something doesn't go your way? Um, that's a very good question because I have been defeated a lot of times <laughs> in business. Um, and sales are like kind of slow right now because everybody rent and stuff is going up and the job pay is not going up. And like here, everybody is moving to Dallas. So... Our rent and stuff is going up to like LA prices, but they're not paying LA wages. You get what I'm saying? Um, but you just have to scale back and refocus. Like when your business and stuff is not doing as good, pick up income another type of way or start getting less inventory so you're not putting out so much. You have to balance it and even it all out. Have sales, um, promotions. Pay for promotions on Facebook and Instagram and stuff. I know I don't, but a lot of people have been very lucrative doing that, so I don't knock it. This is my Estee Lauder powder. I don't knock it at all. You basically got to do whatever you got, you need to do for your business to float. And if your business isn't floating anymore, it's no, it's nothing wrong with going out of business. Hell, you got to save yourself in your bank account before you say that business. Don't be crazy with it. You get what I'm saying? So, I'm going to take my MAC powder that's not in here. Um, in, in W43, this is MAC Studio Fix Powder. But first, let me wet my face. I'm going to use the Milk Makeup Spray. Get my face a little moisture. And then I'm going to go in with the um, powder while my face is almost wet but not too wet but it's just like anything else in life when your life get hard you'll adjust when your business get hard you'll adjust it's it's a balancing act you know you just have to make it work and sometimes just like relationships and etc cetera, etc cetera, it's just not going to work so it's nothing wrong with refocusing rebranding trying something new selling all that inventory at the price you got for it and starting with something else before you you're at a total loss doesn't mean you're a failure the fact that you tried you ain't no failure because some people can't even get the guts together to try it you know what i'm saying so that's just how you have to look at it keep going fight through it it's gonna be obstacles a lot of them but how you get through them determines your character so on to the next question y'all this is my 12 minute beat i can get it done in 10 if i ain't talking so much all right so how can i promote my business with a limited budget okay i kind of just answered that the same way uh first start with friends and let me tell you something social media with social media how can you not promote your business uh, where's my brother 
and CoverGirl Queen Ebony Bronzer. You cannot buy it in stores, so don't shoot me, guys. How can you not promote your business? And social media is free. Free. Instagram. To start a business, Instagram is free. A business Facebook is free. A business YouTube is free. Start with your family. I know a lot of y'all think your family don't support you, but they be seeing this shit. Even if they act like they don't. <laughs> yeah, just tell your people a share or help or anything to help. You know what I'm saying? Um, reach out to people. Reach out to YouTubers. There are some up-and-coming YouTubers that will review and show stuff for free. Because they just not start. Now, I'm not that YouTuber. Uh, I mean, it depends on who you are. I ain't going to say that. But if there, I have been before and... Hold on, yeah. I have been before... And depending on like how much of a supporter you are to me and etc. You guys send stuff to my P.O. Box all the time and I show it. Even if it just gets you one sale. Even if it don't get you a sale at all. It exposes you to a whole lot of people who didn't even know you exist. They might come back when they get paid. They might come back when they get their taxes. They might come back, you know. So just pay attention to stuff like that. Sorry guys, it's technically five o'clock. I have been laying around all day when I get up to start recording. My daddy got everything to me. So I'm gonna take that same bronzer. Can't find my brush. And a big fluffy brush. And I always put this in my this is everybody always say, what eyeshadow are you wearing? It's always my face bronzer. So yeah. Um get creative you know i always say that judy wasn't selling anything nobody else wasn't selling a hair growth oil but it was her marketing strategy how she stood out how she did stuff that people were scared to do or embarrassed to do they got it to where now she sold over 2.5 million of those drops so get creative you know what i'm saying for example me I'm real embarrassed about my stomach because it's just like so out of control and I refuse to get a tummy tuck because my health is not, I used to be, I'm not getting no, but now I, I really want one. I'm just scared because my health is already so up and down. I'll be the one the Lord make an example out of. But guess what? People seeing how my shape were, actually, it don't make it disappear, but it, it makes my clothes fit better and stuff. That's what's going to get the sale. Not just somebody putting it on who already got a flat stomach. Sometimes you got to step outside the box and make it happen. So I'm going to go in with my Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. I'm done with my face. Oh, no, I ain't. I'm about to skip a whole step on y'all. Let's put some blush on. Same thing I use all the time. It's a dupe for MAC Raisin. Which I do have in there. I just need to go get I'm going to do one of those makeup declutter things. It's going to give me anxiety. That's why I've been holding out. But I got some makeup in there. I've been having 10, 11, 12 years. It's got to go. Because ain't no way, boy. Ain't no way that makeup good. <laughs> Eyeshadow blush or whatever. It's still like some of that stuff I ain't even open. I do have some collections like the Riri collection and Rihanna. Nicki Minaj. I might sell them because those are like more collector items. But nah. Even like the Osborne collections. Like, y'all remember them Mac days? Let's go ahead and put on some highlighter. The Lorac Tantalizing Bronzer. Put on any highlighter, y'all. You can't buy this bronzer anymore. So, anyway, I don't want this video to be long and drawn out by this makeup. Oh, that's my lung guy. Yes, come on, because we need it. Hold on, y'all. Let me answer him, because we need our yard cut. So, our next question goes, is it okay to ask for reviews? Absolutely. How else are you going to get them? <laughs> Like, I know now, especially the new influencers ask companies to review their products. I've done that probably, I can count on my hand. Because it got to the point to where it's kind of weird because I'm not anymore. I was like the it girl. So once I got on one person team, everybody wanted to work with me. But that was makeup days. I say that lightly. Don't be in the comments like, you still there? Y'all get what I'm saying? The newcomers that came up and I don't do makeup and stuff anymore. So, I, I don't get the same opportunities I used to get. But, um, with me saying all that, let me go around my perimeters again with my, um, 
Heck yeah, it's okay. How else are you gonna now 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 you have to be a, you have to be very careful like when you ask how you approach these people and what you're offering because I'm not gonna accept the same offer somebody else gonna offer. So some people gonna ask for money. Some people gonna ask for a little bit more product, but absolutely. You wanna jump start your business, you gotta that's the that's the end thing right now. You want your business popping, you gotta get your stuff over to some influencers. I don't know because like I've had YouTubers review my stuff and got like one or two sales. And then my cousin has posted some on Facebook and got me 20. So don't let the numbers and stuff fool you guys. That does not matter. So this is Miss Creative Diva Brow Pencil in dark brown. I like chocolate too. I will link it below with a code. I already did my brows. Um, yeah. So now all I have to do is put my lashes on and my lips. So... Ask for the review, child. Even if it's nothing big. Can you just show it in my video? Can you just wear it in a video? Like I do shapewear. So I can say when you're going out one night, can you just put one of my pieces on under your clothes and show people how it look? It don't have to be nothing drastic or nothing that costs a lot of money or you got to put up a lot of money for it. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just going to go with this red lip. I'm about tired of this red lip. I mean, I'm long night. I want to do something different today, though. Okay, so I'm going to put... I'm going to do something different. I'm going to go peek. I'm going to put on an AMB Lavish lip liner. She says she's back in stock, but I don't know if she has these liners. I just love this color. Um, if you got some more boots, please message me on Instagram, and I pay for the ones you have left. It, you know. So, hold on, guys. Let me line my lips, because y'all know I can't do this and talk. I want to do this uh, glossy, but I got to try on clothes. So, after I try on the clothes, I'm going to record a luxury haul and then come back and gloss it. I mean, then I'll gloss them then. And when I ask these questions, I only answer five. So, if you got a question for me, you got to get it in fast because they fill up so fast, like seconds. So this is um, the Stacy collection. I should have went and got one of her newer colors. Very sweet. You know what? I don't want to look too polished though. I went too dark. I went too dark. This is Boy Bye. See, that's a little lighter. Ooh, that's pretty. Boy Bye. She reformulated and renamed them. So, I put the new name of it below. I'm still using my old ones. She sent the new ones over. So, the last question. Girl, I, I just be doing too much. So, the last and final question. Oh, no, I got two more. How much did Contemporary by Nikki make in the first year? Um, I was going to do a whole video on it, but decided not to. Um, that's a really simple question to answer. Now, I go in with my setting spray, which is the Urban Decay All Nighter. This is the vitamin C one. Let me cover my edges. Um, I, I usually don't be into like the numbers and the money of stuff because this influencer world is different now. I, I get it. That's how people feel like you making it and etc. But I'm a little older and I'm old school. I don't like to throw my money around. But let's just say. It was over a quarter of a million. Over. Like way over. So that's that. So when I come back from trying these Shein clothes on, I will put on my Thickly Gloss. She don't even have any more, so there's no point in me showing it. She only had a little bit left, and I showed it, and y'all sold it out ASAP. So let's go into the last question. Here we go with these lashes, guys. I'm done that quick. I don't know the name or nothing like that. I just pull them out of this box. I do know they are by a company called Luxury Lifestyle. Um... 
I will try my hardest to find it so I can link it, but they were sent to me like so long ago during the pandemic, so I know I'm not gonna be able to. The best way for small businesses to collaborate with influencers, that's a dang good question too. You know what, have you ever heard that slogan? It don't hurt to ask. <laughs> All you gotta do is ask. <laughs> You, you will be surprised at how many people that want to work with your company but won't say nothing. So you might just reach out to an influencer or something and they more excited than you because they've been wanting to review or work with or or um, try your products. Be reasonable though. Like don't expect anybody to do a whole bunch of work for free. So if you're nervous or you don't have the budget or something, just say, hey, I want you to try my stuff. You're not obligated to show it. You're not obligated to shout it out. But if you like it, just please do that for me. I'm a smile business. Just send them a smile inventory match. You ain't got to send them like everything on your website. Send me your best or something you know they love. You know I love peach. You know I love ladybug stuff. You know I love perfume. Send them something that matches their personality so they will want to show it. Because what I have is a lot of people send me stuff and I just can't sell it. I can't. It's it's not something my audience is interested in or my audience maybe audience 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 may be interested in it and you're selling it for too much. You get what I'm saying? Like, let me give you a prime example. You can't send me a dress that you have in your boutique and Fashion Nova has it. That's gonna be hard for me to sell because for one, you're gonna sell it for fifty, sixty dollars and I can go on Fashion Nova and get it for twenty two ninety nine. You get what I'm saying? So, a lot of people have sent me stuff and it didn't go well. And a lot of people have sent me items and it went extremely well. Like, we wasn't even expecting it to do that well. So, let me just put on some. I'm going to put my Valentino earrings on. The plain ones. I have the bling ones. They're so cute. But they expensive. And the plain ones. I'm going to put my plain ones on just for the trial. So, yeah. Just, just reach out to them. Just ask an email. Just say, hey, be very transparent in email. I don't have a budget or my budget is. What can you do for what my budget is? It's that simple. And don't expect anything major in return. It's just like a commercial. You can't, you can't guarantee no sales or anything out of that. Just look at it as promo and them introducing people who didn't know about your company to your company. Like I said, you might not get a sale right then. But you, when people income, you never know. People bookmark stuff and might come back to it. So that's all the small business questions below. Leave me what you want me to ask on Instagram next. When I ask these questions, you can be very nosy, um, but that don't mean I have to answer it. So try your luck. <laughs> so I was thinking of next doing, um, because there's a conflict online about um, big girls getting men of a certain caliber and I left a comment under Chelsea video and it just rattled a lot of people. People was like, yeah, you used to get those rappers and stuff, but would they marry you? Would they? And Platinum been engaged. Not engaged. Proposed two, five times. So, I was thinking of doing that. Like, big girls, how can you get men or something like that? I don't know how I want to. I'm going to let y'all ask the question. Just don't ask me who. Only my family and friends deserve know who. They only know who because they used to be around them or see them texting me, calling me, coming to get me, sending a flight for me. But other than that, I'm not going to, don't ask me nothing like who did you mess around with. All right, so let's move on to Shein, the pieces that they sent me. I already showed you guys the shoes, so let me show you guys the clothes really quick in three, two, one. By the way, get your veneers. I saw Tay do a video. It was too funny, too funny. She looked absolutely amazing, but I like Tay with her gap. I will leave my link below with a discount code. Okay, this reminded me. This reminded me of why I hate doing try-ons during the day because the light from the outside interferes. Real bad. Real, real bad. So I'm gonna step back so the light will be on me. That's not working. All right, so you guys know how I feel about these three-piece sets. This is the black one. I had the blue one. I had the yellow, orange one. There's a pink one. Still love. It's three pieces. It's shorts. It's a top and it's a jacket. I really wish this top was a little bigger, but, but I just closed the jacket and you really can't tell. So you guys know how I feel about this outfit. 
Don't try me. <laughs> All right, guys. So I see this dress everywhere. It's just a hot pink number. It's short. It has a little peekaboo right here, but I'm not peeking boo a lot. I, you know, I don't wanna... it's really cute. Really, really cute. I don't have it zipped up, but it's a really cute dress, and a lot of this is supposed to be out. Okay, I just don't have it out on mine. So. Let me see some. Natural light might can get it today. Is that better? So here's the dress you guys all love. It's that puff dress. I have a white one. I have this blue one. It come in black, orange, and yellow now. I already wore it to my sister's bridal shower. Check out last week's vlog. I'm holding it right here because I tore it um, bad. So you can sew this back together or I don't know, I tore it pretty bad. I might just have to trash it. But my breast did it cause I, at my sister bridal shower, it was a room full of people I didn't want to leave out. So I stepped into it and went to pull it up. and So I had to safety pin it, but that's not she in fault, that's mine. So this is a dress I also have in green. I showed it probably like two vlogs ago. So pretty. It matches my lips perfectly. So gorgeous. Love this dress. Love it. Let's step back. There. So cute. What do you guys think? This dress right here, I do have in black. Super cute. We'll throw on with some Tory Burch slides. You have to do a shopping. Put some heels on, make it date night. This you can like so your cleavage can be out, but we just gonna keep it like that for now. Super cute. Now this is cute. I'm not sure I got these strings tied right, but it's just a cute black number, honey. Let me step on back. Can y'all see it? Oh, it's cute. Y'all better get this. We all need a good black dress. disguises right here because of the material it's made out of so i got three skirts to show y'all so let me put on a bodysuit actually i'm gonna put on a swimsuit <laughs> and then i'll show y'all i just want y'all to see my flowers acting like they don't have no home training over there you don't need the light you can see they doing a gangster lean i just want y'all to get into this it girl skirt Whew, come on now let me see can i go with a proof Y'all know this is the it girl skirt right now. So cute, so cute. Very much so. And I was recently told that this green is my color. So, love it and it comes in a lot of colors. I did get a mixed print one. All right, this is the second one. This so ratchet, but y'all gonna get this work. These are super cute. They're cute on the body too. They're really cute. A lot of people have this one. And then I have one more purple pleated skirt. I've been trying to up my lavender purple clothes because even though those are my favorite colors, I don't have a lot of clothes in those colors. So, yeah. I showed you like an orange one in my last vlog from Shein. Let me show you this lilac one real quick. Don't forget to check out Shein. And guess what? Shein is having a pop up here, the 25th, 6th. I'll put the details on Instagram. <laughs> um, and you can come and meet me one day at them, okay? Details coming soon. Okay, here's that skirt right here. So you have like this little faux, like pocket-like thing right here. It makes it look really different. It's different that's why i like it it's too different this with a white bodysuit oh my gosh it would be too cute it's even cute with the black one i just think light pastel colors should be worn with white instead of dark colors so that's everything from shein i will link everything below i want to say all my stuff was large or extra large i try to put it below 
Um, so let's move into Lens Smart. I thought I was recording and have to start all the way over. You guys know I love Lens Smart. Excuse the setup, I just sat down. I try to show you glasses from them every single video. If you're new to my channel, it's an eyeglass website. They have prescription, non prescription, goggles, blue light glasses, sunglasses, everything on there starting at like $4. And I got a code. So this is the box they will come in. Off inside of the box is like a pamphlet about the company and a cleaning card for your glasses. Um, you can get your prescription put in them like I said. Do it on the website. Do not order these then take them to your doctor and pay more to get your prescription put in them. That just doesn't make any sense when you can get it put in them on the website. So I'm going to show you two pair like I do all the time. Your glasses will come protected in plastic like this. And I never know what I'm going to pull out. It's always a surprise to me. They just send me glasses. So this pair right here, it looks green and clear. So this is the side right here. This is the front. And you guys send me pictures all the time in your Lens Smart glasses. So I'm glad you're enjoying the company just as much as I do. So that's the first pair. And this is like so different because I had to like double, triple take to make sure it was green. You see that? Is it green or gray, y'all? Oh, here we go with that, y'all. So that's the first pair. And then this is the second pair. It's a tortoise pair. But it's something special about these glasses. Dang, I thought I broke them. That's what they look like. They do have this right here. And I love when these glasses come like this. You know, I got another pair from them. I can make them white. I can make them pink. I can make them red. I can make them blue. Well, these you can turn into some aviators. So I will leave the link below to both of the pair that I just showed you along with the jewel pair I wear every day. Thanks Lynn Smart for sponsoring this portion of my video. So in case you didn't know, I store all of my eyeglasses in a case like this that came from Amazon. I have three of them, but all three of them are full. <laughs> they are, they are full because I work with so many eyeglass companies. See, I have so many pair and I don't open them until I show you guys, but this is my overflow, <laughs> so I'm just going to stick them over here. I promise you I will link these on Amazon. I mean, yeah, I will link the Amazon link below for this as well. And let's change our lips. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. Let's change our lips and do that fashion haul. Before we do that, I got a package from Paula's Choice. It say, is vitamin C worth the hype? So let me just see what's in here real quick. Oh, it's the Super Boost Moisturizer and the eye cream. Love Paula's Choice. I need some more of the serum, the one that come in the gray thing. <laughs> but I think I do have another package coming from them. So I will link Paula's Choice below. Absolutely love them, especially the, exf the daily exfoliant. Get that. Miss Creative Diva was just telling me she's on her third bottle. Oh, it matched my nails. <laughs> Thank you so much, Polish Choice. Yeah, I don't record it that luxury how. Let me just show y'all all this stuff. Let me just show y'all. I have all of this to put up. It's lightweight for what it usually is. <laughs> Alright guys, I got all of these new dossier fragrances. I'm going to sit here and label them and put them up if I have room over here. I think one of them is a repeat. If she don't want it, I'll put it in a giveaway. That's how I label them right there. I used to use my label maker, but it's at the warehouse. So I just cut the thing in out right here and tape it down. I will leave dossier link below. All right, guys, it's like 12 hours later and I sat down i um edited my luxury how to go up tomorrow and i redid my amazon storefront for a purple aesthetic so i sectioned everything off to make it easier to find it's just too cute now so shop my amazon favorites like i'm so proud of myself because it just makes it so much easier Guys, let me tell y'all about this place. It's called Wing World, right? Right? So, one of the days, it was way after I had COVID, wasn't it? Yes. Yeah. A couple, a couple of weeks ago, I 
ordered some wings, some lemon pepper wings, because since COVID, I just been on wings, 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 wings. I don't care, like rotisserie, lemon pepper, like wings. So I opened it up and I saw this. And I was like, what the? I ain't order no freaking chicken nuggets. I was too mad. Oh, and they got good egg rolls too. I think you guys remember one time I was vlogging and I went in one and I told a dude, do not put up. They burnt these mugs today. No seasoning sat on my egg rolls. So anyway, yeah, I was too mad. So I went to do a Uber, a Uber, Uber dispute. Like they sent me the wrong thing and realized they did not send me the wrong thing. I ordered these and so I ate them. Man, these things so dang good. Oh my gosh, they so good. Me and Bae got up that night and got some more, didn't we? <laughs> we too fat. <laughs> Two times in one day, we went and got the mugs before they closed. They was too good, right, Bae? Because we picky about chicken and the amount of bread compared to the meat. Like, we don't want all that bread. And I was like, this ain't nothing but nuggets. Boy, boy. Say, man, I've been hooked ever since, huh? Yep. Mm, this whole 20 piece mine. I'm just playing. <laughs> so what did we learn from that guy? Sometimes things be a mistake, but it's meant to be. <laughs> Cause I'm gonna never order these. And now I can't this is like my seventh time ordering them since then. When I say fit. <laughs> Alright, y'all. First of all, please get this. I absolutely love this touch screen when you put your phone in there, the volume go louder. I got it from Shein, but they I sold it out, so I'll link it on Amazon below. And I just reviewed and tried. Uh, this is um Skin Potion, and it's the collaboration with Peyton. So, y'all know I'm brutally honest. Karma Sutra, love, love, love this scent. This is not my scent profile right here at all. So, I'm, as a matter of fact, I just need to take it out the shower and put it in a giveaway because... I wouldn't wear this scent and I don't want it to go to waste. I just want to show y'all how Suge Warfarin managed to bring her, uh, no, not bring, had them delivered roses this weekend. Took her to Yardbird. I'm a little salty. <laughs> Nicole in the kitchen. Stop playing with me. Look how I cleared that fireplace. Stop. Stop. Okay. I hope that don't focus because I got to tell y'all about it. It's some new. Ooh. <laughs> And I'm loving it. Okay. Love this purple cup, but it's messing with my aesthetics a little bit because the top green. And when light and stuff hit it, it turns another color. Like the other day, I, I swear I'm not tripping y'all. The other day that cup turned yellow. Hold up. Because it's finna make me, it's finna make y'all think I'm goofy. And I'm goofy, but not that kind of goofy. Oh, wrong light. Hold on. I don't even think it's a light over the one I'm trying to show y'all. See, it won't even do it. That's cold blooded. I ain't goofy, y'all. I promise y'all. This is what I also want to show y'all because I speak so highly of it. These are my Rose Forever Roses. I had four. I had a black one. I gifted it to my cousin. Um, this one is pink, obviously. This is a shade of purple, and this was a shade of purple. They're finally turning. But I've had them four or five years, guys. No joke. I'm still not going to get a, get rid of them. <laughs> they just can be whatever color they're going to be because I'm so proud of them. They stayed so long. Look, I had to have toes, please. Oh, I had to have her come here and help me because we going all purple, baby. All the black stuff and stuff is gone. She said it looked good. I ain't too much satisfied. I think I want to move some still. Because, see, I want light purple, grape eggplant and, and now i have it like light purple i'm gonna arrange some stuff well, come over here because this will happen you had kids i got the gucci samples i ain't never wore don't do it they can't see your toes i swear to god they can't school back you too close if you what don't want you them to see your toes to i didn't know what you was trying to do she love pink so there turn to the side and make sure they don't look too big oh they just perfect damn could i feel them move let me see was they too little for me oh no Dang, when we get the same size shoe. Y'all gave them the shoe. And if I need them for some, I just buy them back. So I gave them to shoe. Because what y'all like to do is think we sharing stuff. And we don't have yeah, to. Yeah, baby, we don't have to do that. <laughs> Everything I got. We were going to do a real one time, weren't we? 
What happened? Why we never did it? We didn't have enough stuff to have that was the same. Oh, because my Puma shoes I gave away. We had a Louis bag. No, we had three purses. That was the same. Oh. Okay, y'all, let me finish. You gonna do my hair tonight? Maybe. Yes. All right, guys, so this is what I decided to go with. I'm sticking to it. Just unbraid it a little bit. Can't even see over there in the corner. But, yeah, I love it. I love it a lot. Guys, I had a little me day planned, but as you guys can see, it has been raining all day. It has been flooding. Thank you guys for checking on me. I was going to do my hair and do a little solo date. Um, but the hair I need to put in is straight hair, and it's not the kind of hair that I need to be out in in this type of weather. So I'm just going to resume all that tomorrow. As of right now, I do like crumble cookie picks of the week. And so I'm going to stop by there and get those because Nicole want to try them too. And we're going to head in. This, this is the last one on Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. All right, guys. So I got some new pieces. I just did a luxury haul. <clears throat> Remember when I was telling y'all how I got that bag and um, this one for props? I um told y'all I had two more on the way, and they came today. So they're basically wallets on a chain. This shade and this shade. So they both come with chains in here well y'all don't care but um check out my luxury haul i was telling you guys how about these as props and this right here was gifted to me i love it i love it i love it chanel is stepping out um a lot of people don't like <laughs> this style or like the real colorful i have two of them um one i just wore to my sister's bridal shower and another one is like black and white. They're like Chanel did the food. Hold on, I grab them. These two right here, they're like no man, Miss Chanel. That's not even your style. But companies have to branch out sometimes when they get a little stagnant, I guess. And shit, them hoes stay so the fuck out. So they somebody style. So I love this because it's it's not really the rainbow, but it is. And no, it's not red, orange, yellow, green, purple. The rainbow is in a specific order, guys. I said it all the time. I got a Starbucks cup. Hold on. This Starbucks cup is the rainbow. Red, orange. Yeah, that's the rainbow. So, let me put these up and get my day started. I'm going to do my hair, go somewhere, and end the vlog. Tell you, yeah, I just did my hair. It's at the beginning. This dress, I think I tried it on in this video. Y'all be confused. How y'all like it? It's gonna come right back out in two days. It, it's raining in Dallas and it's just not the time for straight hair. So I did get a package. Chanopa. Y'all know, y'all know. I quit fashion over a long time ago after like being sad because I started their curve line. Um, then when I started working with that company, I uh, couldn't work with them anymore. Then when I stopped working with that company, they hired me back. But Fashion Nova wasn't talking numbers right, so I was like, I don't need to be on the PR. If I ever see something I want, I just buy it. This is called the Need You In My Life Ruched Mini Dress. Brie had this on, but I said send a link. Because that's going to disguise that fupa and it's purple. Too cute. And it's a midi. So yeah, I'll link it below. Just that quick, y'all, I'm back in my moo moo. Make it make sense. I ain't gonna lie, I'm really contemplating on keeping my makeup on in case I wanna go somewhere. Or it's Tuesday and the streets are flooded and raining. I'm really trying to be adventurous for y'all, but it's like the devil. I really had stuff to do yesterday and today. And like a lot of the routes of the stuff I need to do are flooded. So just been chilling, but yeah, I'm gonna keep my makeup on just in case. Someone 
gave me a sample of the new Victor and Rock. What is it called? Good Fortune. Y'all know I love the bottle. Yeah, I know I love the bottle. So let's see. I can't wait. Versace is about to drop Dylan Purple. You know, they got blue turquoise and now purple. I hope purple smell good because turquoise I did not like. I love blue, but turquoise wasn't it. It smell like something. What's in it? It's okay. I don't think I'll run out and get a bottle. Jasmine, Madagascar, Jasmine, Madagascar vanilla, fennel and gentleman flower chemistry, alchemy. Nah, I don't want a bottle of that. <laughs> All right, guys. So it's the next day. I'm not gonna curl this hair. I mean, flat iron or nothing. I just put on my Tory Burch earrings. This dress is from Shein. Y'all yeah, can't even see it. I just had on the orange one yesterday. Just a cute little dress. I have these Gucci sandals on like this. Look, it don't really go, but I'm just going to the outlet. I'm gonna put Casablanca on. I'm gonna spray my clothes because I haven't ate. I know y'all like, what does that have to do with it? But perfume has oils in it that seep into the skin that can start making you feel it dizzy and weak and stuff. And I ain't ate. A hair mist, let's do, um, Let's do Mademoiselle. So I do have on some Lensmark glasses. The reason why I put these on is because I'm going to eye black it out and these snap on like this. It has um, red, blue, cream, and pink you can snap on. Let's go. We're here. It's the outlet. Oh, my dress flying up, girl. They see all this big black. Okay, bye. Look guys, I saved six hundred and seven dollars. Focus, focus. There we go. I even found some. Oh, she put them up. They were right here. Some six dollar candles. I'll show you guys when I get home. So guys, just know they the plug. But I did save six hundred dollars. I got two candles, different type of candles. They were six dollars, and I had a coupon. 20% off and I had a reward for $10 off so yeah all right guys I'm headed home and I just thought about something what are you guys named Kim I don't want to say your last name you opted out of going on a family vacation and came to Dallas to come to my makeup class and I like took you to Papa Do's the next day message me I have been looking for you I just want to know how you doing and stuff and I know cuz y'all gonna try it cuz I got something for you too Kim y'all gonna try it. the Kim who I'm talking about know I'm talking about you came to Dallas to make a class I took you to Papa Do's and I just want to see how you're doing right now so message me on Instagram my uh, not my personal Facebook my um, platinum D Facebook Snapchat or something. I'm trying to get in touch with you. Y'all, look what they got. Remember when one of y'all sent me this brand? Never seen it in Texas till now. Finishing touches. All right, here's the first bag. Quick zoom over. These are only like 150, 112 after my coupon. And I got all of these bulbs. And here are one of the candles. 
it was only two cents they had for six dollars, which was what five after my discount. Tis the season. Yeah, my lens was filthy. I'm surprised y'all could see. As y'all can see, sis was getting low, so I'm gonna transfer these right over in here. Actually, we need to fill them throughout the house. So, of course, I had to get a lot of in the stars because it smells a lot like baccarat to me. To me, because y'all don't want to tussle. I got some hand soaps. Hmm. Well, and this, y'all know, frosted coconut snowball is Nicole absolute favorite. So, I just got her too. But, I love these. These got body washes or something that go to them and these were all like two and three dollars cheaper than that with my coupon so this is the last batch this is the other one uh what is this frozen lake so this was like 425 after my coupon all right y'all they all packed up and ready to go it's wednesday the shower ain't to sunday but who ain't gonna be doing all this stuff at the last minute it's me Got some more little stuff I needed. See them there.